Hey YouTube, obviously I have cannot find time at home to do any of these things, so I'm gonna do it in the car. My husband's driving, not me. Um, and he's making fun of me the whole time I do this, but whatever. Um, do 11 month update on Layla. Um, she has been crawling and cruising. She started crawling the end of February, Adam? Yeah, something like that. Um, and cruising the end of March. Um, she waves hi and bye. I have to prompt her, but she'll do it. Well, not always. I mean, she'll just do it randomly. We'll be walking out of the store and she'll just wave to all the cashiers as we leave and stuff like that. Um, she can stand alone. Um, she doesn't have to be holding on to something, but once she realizes that she's standing um, by herself, then she'll just sit on her butt. <laughs> um, she claps. She says, Mama and Dada. Um, it sounds like she's saying hi, but she's probably not really saying hi. Um, she screams, and she's usually really happy when she does that, like, she, it sounds like she's, um, I don't know, how do you put it, I don't know. Like, we're in public and we'll be at a restaurant, it's like she just wants attention, like she's tired of you not looking at her or something, and she'll, she'll scream, it'll be like a, nah, nah, oh, I hate it, it drives me crazy. Um, she's in a size 4 diaper, she's been in it for almost a month now. Um, she's starting to play with the dogs and cats more, and it's really cute because she'll be standing next to the, um, coffee table, and Dooley will come up next to her, and she'll, she'll play with, you know, his ears or something like that. She tries to get his toys, and it's nasty, so we obviously try to keep her away from those, like his rawhides and tennis balls and stuff like that. Um... Really, there isn't anything that she doesn't like to eat. I gave her a piece of a cucumber once, and she didn't really care for that, but it doesn't taste like much, so that's probably why. Oh, the sun is horrible. Um, yeah. Um, she likes broccoli and peaches and pineapple, pears, raspberries, bananas, strawberries, any kind of potato, mac and cheese. Tur lunch meat turkey, you know, chicken, anything else? I'm meatballs. Eating. Meatballs. We gave her some meatballs the other night, cut up. Um, any vegetable, really, that you can think of. She really likes broccoli. We eat that a lot, so she gets it a lot. Um, she's eating four six-ounce bottles every day still. We're getting ready. A week from today, we are having her birthday party. So that kind of marks when we can start doing whole milk. And I think we're excited about that because it's cheaper. Um, but I think I'm gonna wait till we get word from her pediatrician when we go to her 12 month update on the 5th of June, something like that. Um, for sure, when we should start that. Um, she uses two kinds of sippy cups. They're both a newbie brand, one with the straw and the other one with the handles. And she's good at both. Um, I prefer the straw one. It seems to be less messy. But we use a, we still practice with the open cup every now and then. Um, no soda. I do sweet tea every now and then. Adam hates that I do it. Because he says it's half sugar, even though it's not. And juice and water. We do water most of the time. But, you know, I would get sick of water all the time, so we give her juice, too. Um, oh, here. Uh, I wrote down what she eats. What did I not say? Um, apples and carrots, sweet potatoes, green beans, mac and cheese, bananas, hard-boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, breads, pasta. Um, as far as, like, the Gerber stuff, we give her the puffs, kind of, like, as an appetizer to keep her quiet while we're preparing her food, like we put on her tray, so she'll have something to do and eat. And um, we also recently um, started using those fruit strips. They, they smell like fruit roll-ups. Um, and she likes those. Um, they're not that messy, really. Um, except if she starts chewing on it and then takes it out of her mouth. And it's all gooey and wet. But other than that, it's not that bad. Um, yeah, anything she can chew, she'll eat. Um, she did not like those Gerber ravioli pickups because they were bland. I mean, they smelled like dog squeeze. I don't blame her for not wanting this, so we don't give them to her anymore. She'll eat pasta just as long as it tastes good. I mean, I'm, it, it was nasty. Um, she still eats jar food, but she pre prefers to be able to pick it up and feed herself. Um, we mess around with the um, 
baby for the toddler forks and spoons, but really she just chews on the handles and throws them and it's just a pain right now. So we'll just keep practicing. Um, and the first part of April, she had two teeth come in, these bottom two, um, and they've, oh, they're coming in, but nothing else has come in yet. But I've, the um, pediatrician told us that um, when your teeth come in are based on genetics, and I think mine came in late, and I don't, I don't think Adam knows when his did, so, um, not late, but you know, later, like around the year mark or so. So she got a couple in, what, 10 months, right when she was 10 months old, right around, um, I noticed it on Easter, or the day before Easter. So, that's Layla. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. I wrote everything down a while ago. So if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I will get back to you. She's what? Oh, she's staying up. Yeah. Well, I guess I could talk about the the diaper thing and the pamper diaper thing and her trip to the ER. Okay, first of all, I guess it was the beginning of May. I don't know if you guys have heard about this Pampers recall, or not, they haven't recalled it yet because Pampers is being idiots and not owning up to this, but Pampers came out with Drymax technology for their diapers to make them thinner, and that's how they're advertising it as such. Well, um, I have gotten some diapers, no big deal, size 4 diapers, because she was, towards the, in, the end of April, she was in size 3 still and about to be in a size 4. And I bought them, and then a couple weeks later when she was in the size 4, I opened them up and decided to use them. Um, I don't know how, how long we have been using them. I don't, what we do is, since diapers are so expensive, and you can, pretty, you can go through them pretty quickly during the day, because as soon as you put one on them, a fresh clean one, you know, they will crap in their diaper. And it's like, there's no pee, it's just a bunch of crap. So you're just like, dang it, I just put that diaper on you, and then you're having to put another one on them. Who's that? Can you do me? Don't worry about it. Okay. Rare. I said don't worry about it. I know, but I'm just trying to be nice. I can pop it. One afternoon, I was gone studying or something. Adam gave, I was only gone for maybe 20 minutes. He gave her a bath, put this diaper on her, and was about to feed her. And, well, no, he did that. And then I came home a little while later, and... Um, long story short, she was probably in that diaper for an hour, and he was. I was home, and I was in the back, and I heard him trying to feed her, and she was screaming bloody murder. And I came in there, and he's sitting on the couch. I didn't see the bottle. She's sitting on the floor, and I said, "What's what's up with her?" And he's like, "She's hungry." And I was trying to feed her, and he shows me the bottle, and she's just sitting on the floor, mad. And um. I take her back into our room thinking maybe she's tired, just wanted to sleep, and I'm doing the mommy thing. And I didn't think at all to change her because she was didn't feel wet. She um, had just gotten that diaper, and she didn't smell like poopy or anything. So I didn't think of that. I just thought she was tired because she fights sleep all the time. Well, I was going to go do something in the living room, and I was like, well, let me check her diaper.